Good day and welcome. During this tutorial, I'll walk you through a variety of pyro smoke simulations from scratch. Besides, there are more modules included, such as high field, flip simulation, RBD simulation, scene assembly, material, lighting, rendering, composting, etc. First of all, we will start off with a volcano terrain creation, which includes making textures based on height layers and vegetation planning. Then, we will go into a thorough parasimulation process from a general shape to a couple of different levels of details. In the process, I'll explain some common parameters in detail and use simple examples from time to time for a better understanding. Also, I'll show you how to visualize the control range of force fields and how to combine multiple force fields to get a fine and intuitive controls over the shape of smoke. In addition to the volcanic plume, there are also various pyro simulations like the volcanic bombs, sparse smoke in the air, shockwave smoke, smoke and fire spreading on the terrain, and smoke from rolling stones to give you a deeper understanding of pyro. Next, we'll move on to the terrain destruction, from which you'll learn how to achieve a better control over fracture on the terrain and fragment shapes how to combine multiple force fields and constraints to make a desired explosion animation, and how to simplify the debris simulation process to improve efficiency. For the flip simulation of spewing lava, we will grasp how to accurately handle its shape and details by setting up force fields and noise in up, and how to do mesh conversion. In the next section, scene assembly, there will be material settings, tips and tricks for building the scene, methods to effectively get massive animations based on the several ones we made, as well as many optimization techniques to avoid freezing. We will also dive into the complete setup of complex lighting and every detail of rendering in layers and much more. Finally, a professional composting section. Not only the workflow demonstration, lots of practical experience on CG composting will also be generously shared. From the initial rendering to a level of cinematic realism, you'll see a complete and clear composting process. Throughout the tutorial, you'll find a lot of practical tips and tricks. Even if you are a beginner, I believe that after learning this tutorial, you will have a deep understanding of Pyro. For intermediate learners, this is also the one for inspiration and guidance. If you're interested, join us to learn together.